This is a knowledge century. Nothing to do with birth. It's got degenerated when it's connected with birth. Ambedkar, unfortunately, Jawaharlal Nehru made him bitter. Towards the end, he lost three parliamentary elections in a row and losing his deposit because Nehru ensured that he would be humiliated. And he became bitter. The society didn't stand up for him. His own children passed didn't vote for him. But he was a scholar. And he went to Columbia and got a PhD in economics. His thesis was first class. Went to London School and got a law degree. And he wrote books on Indian culture, which you all must read. I quoted in my recent book, Hindutva and National Renaissance, long passages from his book. He should be declared by all the sadhus and sannyasis as the new Brahmin of India. That would be the way Because he was a scholar, he was a man of learning, and he had no money, he had no weapons, he had no land, he qualifies. People come and tell me I must defend the Brahmins because these uh, Dravida Karagam people in Tamil Nadu are attacking them. I said, you are a Brahmin? He said, yes, I am very much a Brahmin. My father is Brahmin, grandfather is Brahmin. I am pure Brahmin. So I said, where, I said, where do you work? He said, I am director in Tata Shoe Company. <laughs> but that's not a problem. <laughs> so you have to be a teacher or an intellectual of some kind where you live by your knowledge and impart knowledge. So I don't think this system can be rescued. We should all become now, first and foremost, we'll worry about this system later. First and foremost of all, we must say, I am a Hindu and I'm proud of it without any sacrifice. You see, Therefore, I'll conclude my talk by, my hour is almost over, uh, by raising a question as to what we should do, what you NRIs can do, what I can do, what any Hindu can do. First, you must understand what your identity is. Today, after all the attempts of the British to divide us, everything is paid because this science has completely destroyed the East India Company financed history of India. Still being taught in India, but is not anymore being taught in the same ferocity in other countries. Still some, uh, I mean, you now once, uh, if I get a government, the first thing I'll do is appoint a commission with the Rajiv Manotra as the chairman, if he agrees, to rewrite our history. We need a new history book. According to the DNA research, which is now published in reputed magazines of the world, like Nature, University of Houston in your state, the Indian has the same DNA. The structure of our DNA is the same. It doesn't matter what color Indian is, because colors got nothing to do with race. It is your exposure to the sun, it's pigmentation. Michael Jackson once went and took out all his pigmentation, he became a white man. <laughs> you know Michael Jackson, you've seen his complexion. You're white, I mean the white man's white. So pigmentation is nothing to do with race, but DNA structure is race. And we are all the same, and I proved it once. When Raj Thakare said in Bombay, these Bombay taxi wallas are from UP, they are stealing our jobs of us Marathi, we are different people. They must all go. So I got a friend to go and get a sample of his hair when he went to for a haircut. And then I got one UP taxi wala and said, can I cut your hair? And he gave me a sample. I gave him 10 rupees. He gave me one strand of his hair. And I took it to Hyderabad to a laboratory and tested and found the DNA of Raj Thakre and the UP taxi wala is exactly the same. <laughs> that Raj Thakwe originally his, grand, his, his, his ancestors came from UP. <laughs> and therefore the first person who should be driven back to UP is Raj Thakwe and not the taxi wala. And Raj Thakwe has not protested. I told him if he challenges me, ask him to come on the stage and cut his hair in front of everybody and I'll bring a, a mobile uh, testing equipment and I'll prove it that he's done. We are the same people. 
irrespective of your Brahmins or scheduled caste or anything. So therefore, this Aryan religion is all nonsense. And that's, I don't have to expound on it. Uh, Rajiv Malhotra has done enough and you can read his book, how it was contrived. Arya just means good, uh, a noble person, like in Tamil we say Ayya. Arya. There's no word Aryan in our scriptures. Dravidian is, uh, means the southern part, it says it's a Sandhi of two words, Tra and Vid. Means where the three posts meet, that means southern region. The word was first used by Adi Shatra when debating Mandana Mishra in Varanasi. He said, I'm Dravada Shishu. And then he expounds what that means. I told this to Karnanidhi also one of these days. I often discuss with him, although I don't like him at all, he doesn't like me, but we discuss a lot. <laughs> Something good in politicians, even if you don't like each other, you can sit and have tea and talk about it. <laughs> Some politicians even decide how, how to divide the loot. See? <laughs> so therefore, he, I sort of told him that, you see, this Dravid is not a racial term as you are making up. He said, no, 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 this is the absolute British historian, this, that, no. Then I said, if you are saying that Dravid can never be a Brahmin, then how is Rahul Dravid a Brahmin? <laughs> Our cricket captain, who was that time cricket captain, he is a Brahmin and he is from... Uh, in Maharashtra, if anybody came from South, he would be called Dravid. So therefore, we are one people. That oneness must be expressed. And that expression must be so solid that every, nothing else counts. The first thing that counts is if you are a Hindu. Then if you are an Indian. Later on you can think of Italians also if you like. <laughs> our identity is, we are Hindus. That is our national identity. What is an Indian? An Indian is a Hindu or those others who acknowledge that their ancestors are Hindus. <laughs> if a Muslim says that uh, my ancestors are Gori and Ghazni, then according to the British Independence Act of 1947, they should go to Pakistan. <laughs> you want to stay here? You accept to be my brother, that we are of the same blood, we have the same tradition. The same Sanatana Dharma was, uh, you know, belongs to both of us. That is the way to unite Hindus and Muslims. Not by pandering to them, but by making them acknowledge their identity as a person who comes from the same lineage as I do. <laughs> Second, if there's one thing that NRIs can do, or any Indian can do, says, I can't get rid of all this, learn all this. Vedas and Brahmanas and Upanishads and so on. The only one thing I want to do, tell me what? Learn Sanskrit. Nothing else. <laughs> because the vocabulary of Sanskrit is everywhere. Even those who talk about Dravidian, Tamil and all that, they use Sanskrit words all the time. Again, quoting the example of Karnanidhi, the name Karnanidhi is Sanskrit name. <laughs> They say for their election symbol as Chinnam, that is Sanskrit for Chin. They say that their Chinnam is Udayan Suryan. What is this Udayan Suryan? Rising Sun. That is Uday, Suraj Ka Uday. So these are all 41% of the words in Tamil are common to Sanskrit. Karnali is said to me that the Sanskrit stole it from Tamil. <laughs> I say it doesn't matter, it's common. Our script is the same, Devanagari and Tamil. You put ka and you want to put ki, you put a matra. You do it in Tamil, you do it in, uh, in Sanskrit, in Devanagari also. So we, all these scripts have come from Brahmi. They are common. Every Indian language has the same phonetic principle as the Devanagari script. So everybody should learn Sanskrit and the Devanagari script. This is the second thing I would say for our identity. Third thing is, you must be a Virat Hindu, not a Dabu Hindu. <laughs> Virat Hindu means... Virat Hindu means that if somebody attacks you because you are a Hindu, you will retaliate. And retaliate massively. <laughs> that is why I said that if 
if, uh, if they drive out 500,000 Hindus from Kashmir, you send 100, uh, 1 million people back and make them settle down there. Let's see what they do. If the Bangladeshis infiltrate your country, take away one third of their territory or tell them you take your people back. If the Pakistanis come and bomb Bombay, go and bomb those camps which you know exist in, in what is they call as the POK or Pakistan or occupied Kashmir. So these are the ways we have to build a credibility. I admire the Israelis for that. I can say with great pride that the first time India exchange, exchanged the ambassadors with Israel was because of my effort as a, as a minister. But the Israelis were uh, our Jews. And what the Jews were before Hitler, they couldn't stand up to him because they were productive. But that taught them a lesson. Today, the new Jew, who is the Israeli, he has shown the world that even if he's 6 million and there are 150 million Arabs surrounding them, any of them can be defeated at any time. They're all well behaved. They're, they don't trouble Israel at all because of their retaliatory power. Retaliation is an essence. So we are not just Hindus, but we are Virat Hindus. And finally, we must show our respect to gods by actively liberating our temples, not only from where they have been demolished, but also from the hands of the government. Swamiji here is doing excellent work. Padhyatra. He has brought a focus to the whole thing. But I have got a court case which I'll now go and argue back. Argue now when I return on the 11th of August. Where I have said to the government, yes, government has the power that if there's a financial mismanagement, they can take over that temple. But I said they cannot take it over permanently. Tirupati was taken over in 1933, still in the government. And the money of the Tirupati is being used for building madrasas and uh, uh, subsidizing Hajj travel, even building churches when Rajshekar Reddy was there. So, same thing in Karnataka. All misuse, four lakh temples are being, the land of the temples which was donated by people, being taken over by politicians and they're building housing colonies. In. So I am putting, I brought a registration asking the Supreme Court to legislate that when the power is given to take over a temple, 